What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Accord Racer, and I'm back with another gameplay. I've cut this and edited this because there was a host migration in this piece of crap. The host was so garbage, I was going like 1KD the entire game, and I am it uh, a little bit later on. Anyway, how you guys doing? I haven't been here for a while, and uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. He's got to hold something for me. Hold on that for me. Thank Boom. Thank you. Stupid ride shields. I haven't posted a gameplay in a long time. You know me, doing a bunch of stuff all around. But I decided I can't leave you guys out. So, I want to talk about something. Over the course of this weekend, I've been outside doing a whole bunch of stuff and having some fun. Last night, I was able to watch some live streams. And I don't just watch live streams of the popular guys, or, you know, big guys on there, like Optic Nade and all these other fisticuffs and stuff. <coughs> I watch your stuff sometimes, but generally, I like watching the smaller guys. The smaller guys that only have like 10 to 20 views. Because I want to see what they're doing. Some of these guys, some of these guys are absolute beasts. Like, they're posting kills of like 80 to 100 on average a game. And it is just absolutely ridiculous how they can get these games and just go 80 plus like every time I, I just don't get I don't know how they get these lobbies sorry team late I don't know how they get into these lobbies to me I'm still thinking the old way you get these noob lobbies and you just beat the snot out of the noobs and away you go but with this because of the skill based mash making I don't know how they're getting into these things maybe they're, they're ranked so damn high that get turned on they're the rank so damn high that the game can't put them with anybody else. I don't know. But these guys, they're the ones interesting to watch. They're the ones that nonstop run. They run down the middle and still fucking kill people. But that got me thinking. Every time I see, you know, you see these gameplays on YouTube, a guy posting 100 plus and this, that, you know... They're like, they always say, oh, it's a once in a lifetime lobby. You don't get them all the time. You need to run teams, and these guys run teams all the time. I rarely see people post solo. And it, it may be true, but it, it got me thinking. Remember back, this was back in the day when there wasn't any money in YouTube for gaming. And people were posting normal stuff. But this is where I started going ham with this gun. My Scorpion. I should have pulled this out at the beginning of the goddamn map. Nonetheless. Off topic. When you... Before, when you would post gameplays and stuff, you didn't have to have the best score. If you went 20 and 15, but you had a kick-ass, it was an exciting game in COD 4, you posted it, it got a ton of likes. But we got away from the normal, like, we got away from that. We got away from just having fun with the game. We got to the point where you have to post 100 pluses or you have to post, you know, 10KD or you got to post these fucking gameplays that you're not going to get every time. Unless you're playing with the stupidest people in the world, you got... Or they're, they're set up. And I hate to be the breaker to, of bad news to a lot of you people. These things, a lot of them that are consistent 100 pluses, I know for a fact, for a fact, a lot of them are done in private matches and done over Skype. So you don't see the talking and all that kind of stuff. Because they never show you the beginning of the map. They never show you the lobby, and they never show you the the ending of it, where it goes back to the menu after the match. So just take a look at that. But where did we go wrong? Why all of a sudden now do we need 100 pluses to be, oh, you're fucking bomb at this game, you got a 100 plus game. Whatever happened to the, look at, like in this game, the whole game, it was tight. It was going back and forth, back and forth. I was good and like, I get two kills, I die. I get two kills, I die. And it was going like that for the longest time. And, you know, we got away from having fun with it. We got, everyone just has to 
oh, I gotta get these good gameplays, I gotta get these good play gameplays. This is a decent gameplay. I went 50 and 18 or 50 and 20, something like that. And the reason why I had to cut it down is because it's just too damn long. The game was full, full 10 minutes, I think. But this game was awesome. This game was fun. You saw me. I got a streak, and that was it. That was my one streak. I'm pretty sure of it. And that was it. The game was fun. The game was back and forth, back and forth. So my question is, where did we go wrong? Why did all of a sudden, when money came into it, everyone had to cheat the system? Everyone had to be, you know, I have a million subs and this, that, whatever. I don't know how the hell I didn't kill him. How did? Where did we go? Why is everyone gotta find these? I gotta get these kick-ass gameplays. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. We gotta get away from it. Look at that! I posted 50 kills, 19 deaths. Look at my team. Nobody was grabbing tags. And we were lost by two. Lost by two. And I had a friggin' noob on my team. We need more of these gameplays, these exciting gameplays, these exciting endings. We need more of this stuff. Till next time, it's your boy Cord Racer. Keep it moist.